Hola, bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Welcome to my channel. This is a highly requested video. A lot of you have been asking me to do an updated review and wear and tear on my Louis Vuitton monogram Felicie. This is the Felicie chain wallet. And um, I have had this for about three years. I think I bought it in 2018. Um, and it's just really, really gorgeous. I have always loved uh, Louis Vuitton chains. Look at this one. In the last couple of years, they have come out with like very unique and new style chains. I do love this bag. I think it is so chic and gorgeous so this video is going to be going through all the details up close with you just to show you how three years of pretty liberal use with it has held up um as expected it is louis vuitton monogram so it's built like a horse these are definitely workhorse bags anything that's made out of the louis vuitton monogram canvas should last you for a very long time I have beat up this bag, I won't lie. I don't baby my bags, but I don't, I don't, I'm not reckless with them either, but I don't, like I said, I don't baby them. I use my bags. Um, though I'm careful, I'm not a Neanderthal. I take care of my things, but look at this. I have taken it everywhere. Every time I go to lunch and I don't want to carry much, every time I've been to a club before COVID, um, every time I go to a lounge, any nice place, I need to go um, where I don't want to carry a lot, I will carry this bag. Um, I really love this bag, I do. It's so comfortable, despite it being quite a heavy, heavy chain. It's actually really comfortable on the shoulder, obviously because you can't actually fit much inside. So anything that's not going to be heavy is going to be more comfortable. Um, the inside, I have... I had stained with some makeup, but a bit of Folex um, took it all away, but I recently also put in another makeup brush. See, this is what I mean. Sometimes I'll just like put in a makeup brush here and there, not even have a cover because I know I can get it out. Everything is just so well stitched, well made. Um, the back pocket here is perfect for a cell phone, even if you have a a case on it it's going to fit perfectly back here I usually I always put my phone in this pocket here and there's really not much space to put anything in here if you want to fit more then you can you have to not use these two so this is the card holder that fits one two three four eight cards but you can stick like two or three in each slot um, and then that's the inside. I'll usually put like notes or whatever. I don't use this all that much because I usually just like stick my cards and keys and stuff. Like I'll actually use this pouch more. I like to use this because it just is cute and like cards and notes and coins, like everything in here. Sometimes I just use this as um, a media bag I'll just put like my phone charger in there or I'll put my keys in there um this bag is just such a versatile thing but it is more like a wallet it is a wallet on chain and you can't expect to put a lot in here literally just purchased it for the versatility and there's I have stuffed this bag though I have fit a shitload of things in but it's so difficult and I've like pulled it and I've like forced it shut and <laughs> I know it's not the best thing to do, but I've done that and it's just been a workhorse bag and held up with that kind of treatment. Um, the What I love about this too is the chain actually comes off um, at, the, at the edges. See how pretty, how pretty the clasp is. Look at this, look at this chain detail. It's like flat edged really cute such a beautiful chain it sparkles especially in light when you're out completely take this off i've never had an issue with this bag this bag has given me no problems 
it's just not the best when you want to carry a lot of stuff. So just keep that in mind. I notice when I do go out, I only have room for like a lippy, a few small makeup products, and then I'm still kind of like forcing it shut. But like I said, it's a workhorse bag and it can handle it. So you can take it off and either use it inside of an, another bag as just an organizer. You can put, I don't know, little planner in there stuff, receipts, whatever. You can literally put anything in here as long as you don't put too much. Why this bag does not fit a lot is because it's so structured. It's got this piece of canvas here that forces it to maintain this shape. So you really do not have any flexibility with this bag. If I can show you anything that's really worn on this bag, it's probably the, the glazing. Glazing usually does come off on Louis Vuitton bags, but it's very easy to get them reglazed. Or you can literally, like, you can literally buy your own glaze off online, and that works well too. Um, but you can see there's some glazing that's come off here, and where's the other piece? Yep, right here. There's a bit of glazing coming off here as well. But other than that. Not really, it's held up pretty well. Bit of glazing came off on the side here. But yeah, nothing major, right? Nothing like groundbreaking, like, oh my God, I have to take it in for a repair. No, nothing like that. Um, and if you look kind of flat, you can see with a lot of, you know, obviously the edges are curled curled up a bit that happens just because of the nature of the design no big deal button um, the louis vuitton button has a bit of scuffing just being put on surfaces and things like that but it's like really not a big deal is it it's just like that's three years it's still beautiful it's still gorgeous it's really not a big deal um, I don't see any cracking anywhere where there's stress points. Just really well made bag. Stitching is impeccable. Stitching's all maintained and stayed together. So you can see, just really, really, really well made, well handcrafted bag as you would expect. Really no flaws at all. And mind you, just because it's Louis Vuitton doesn't mean they're flawless. They do have um, both machine and handmade aspects of the bags and there are variances. You can see a bit of wrinkling here because this is the part that keeps getting opened and closed and opened and closed all the time. Not a big deal. And... Some glazing coming off on the side here. Not really, you see the corners there? Not really that big of a deal. Not too big of a deal. These get a bit wonky. But anyone who has Louis Vuitton knows that these these type of zipper pulls do get a bit wonky. Nothing really major. Zipper still works so perfectly as you'd expect. A typical Louis Vuitton smooth zipper. Mind you, not all of them are smooth. <laughs> Like I said, there's variances and, but Louis Vuitton generally has smooth zippers on most of their items. There's some creasing here, which is normal and expected. No glazing coming off on this one. It's pretty much, pretty much intact. Yeah. So literally, you can see there's really not much wear at all considering it's been used quite often for three years. Um, 
I just really love the look of it. Just don't expect to carry a lot when you have it. And I do tend to find myself like really stuffing the bag because I need to carry a little bit, bit more. But when everything's in there, it's just perfect. Though I'm usually carrying an extra thing or two. I have this huge like coin purse that I keep my cards in. It's like a big Rebecca Minkoff one. And I'll just like, it's so fat, it could never fit in here. It would just take up all the room. So I literally like hook it onto the side of my bag and it looks like a bag charm. So I don't mind that either. Oh, and you can see the D ring here. The link's tarnishing a little bit. Not really that big of a deal. See? Tarnished a bit. Little bit of tarnish. Again, not, not a big deal. But look how well made the the canvas loops are literally no sign of weakness or stress or anything it's gonna last another hundred years it will outlive me for sure it's probably gonna last such a long time um but yeah that's it that's the wear and tear of my louis vuitton monogram felicity after three years any other questions please do let me know i'll be happy to answer them and i hope you enjoyed this Bye bye